हेलो गाइस नमस्ते दिस इज पीवी जैन आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड डेरिवेशन फॉर एनर्जी स्टोर्ड इन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डेरिवेशन फॉर ऑल फर्स्ट ईयर इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स सो आई होप यू वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड प्लीज लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आईकॉन फॉर ऑल द नोटिफिकेशन सो दैट यू विल गेट ऑल द अपडेट्स नाउ लेट स्टार्ट टूडे सेशन एनर्जी स्टोर्ड इन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड येस यू हर्ड इट राइट इन एवरी इंडक्टर there is a storage of energy in form of magnetic field and today we are going to derive its equation i hope you know the equation already equation is e is equal to 1 by 2 li square we need to derive this equation of course it is in joule we need to derive this so let's start the derivation derivation is very easy we need to consider the concept of self induction so for that we need to draw a coil of n number of turns placed on iron core i'm going to go through bit faster we won't make this video much lengthy keeping it simple having a variable resistance and the force of voltage current i is flowing through this circuit this current i flowing through this circuit is going to produce magnetic flux so let me draw magnetic flux magnetic flux direction is understood by using right hand thumb rule so curled finger in, fingers indicate the direction of current thumb indicates the direction of north pole so this is north and this is south so flux will flow like this so this is what is magnetic flux this is what is current voltage resistance so i am going to write here title of the figure figure concept of energy stored in magnetic field it is very important to write the titles of the figures and tables whenever you uh, write the answers in question uh, in the exam okay and it's good habit it's good habit okay now what happens is when you vary the current by means of varying the resistance you vary current flux will vary and hence there will be self induction in this coil okay there will be self induction in this coil and this self induced emf will also oppose cause responsible for its production what is cause responsible for its production variation in the resistance now physically we are varying this resistance so even though the induced emf is opposing the change in resistance but somehow it is going to happen okay so induced emf will always try to keep current constant induced emf always try to keep current constant and hence lenz law i can write e is equal to minus n d5 by dt i can write e is equal to minus n d5 by dt okay this is by lenz law also we are considering the principle of self induction so i can write i can write e is equal to minus l di by dt because we are considering a simple coil through which current is flowing and i hope you remember the equation of self induction for deriving this equation we have used this as a base that's why i have noted this equation of course further we are going to use this equation as a base okay now you can see this minus sign this minus sign means what the induced emf okay this is induced emf it is opposing the cause responsible what is cause responsible change in current now in order to counterbalance this induced emf the source voltage has to put in some additional energy because source voltage wants to try wants to keep the current constant the inductor wants to keep the current constant and hence source voltage has to put in some additional energy and that additional energy gets stored in form of magnetic field as a potential energy ekdam simple aapko batata hu suppose aapke paas ek table hai main yahan se table wahan pe push karna chahta hu via 10 cm 10 cm se main push karna chahta hu बट उस साइड आप खड़े हो आप टेबल उसी जगह पे रखना चाहते हो आप उसको मूव नहीं होने देना चाहते सो so, क्या होगा इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कीप द टेबल एट सेम पोजिशन बट आई एम पुशिंग इट हियर सो दैट इट शुड मूव थ्रू 10 सेंटीमीटर देन यू नीड टू एड सम एडिशनल एनर्जी फ्रॉम दैट एंड सो दैट द टेबल विल रिमेन एट सेम पोजिशन if you don't want to let the table move you need to put the additional energy you need to force it to remain at the same position and that additional energy required in case of magnetic circuit is stored as a potential energy in form of magnetic field i hope you understood okay so i can write v is equal to minus e this is very important the applied voltage has to counterbalance the induced emf applied voltage v has to counterbalance the induced emf then and then only current will remain constant okay also this is very important now this is these both equations are very important also 
what also if i consider these two equations i can write v is equal to l di by dt so jitna emf induce hua utna hi induced emf opposite direction mein source ko put karna padega circuit mein and that additional energy will get stored in form of magnetic field now let's focus on how to derive this equation so we have got this v is equal to l di by dt now we know what we know energy what is energy energy is equal to vit we know this energy is equal to vit right na you know this na you must know this this is very basic energy is equal to power into time v into i is power and t is time hmm? therefore i can write e is equal to small energy mai consider karta hu pehle de i am considering a small energy de for small time dt okay so what i can write is v ka value mai yahan pe substitute kar raha hu l di by dt small time hai isliye dt kiya small energy de hai to small time hai dt hmm? this dt dt will get cancelled so what i'll get is de is equal to l di ye i reh gaya bhai apna sorry really very sorry this i should be here you can consider it as a capital or small let's suppose it is small so it is l i d i okay so what i did is i substituted this l i d i over here as a v and i is taken as it is and instead of t i have written dt because we are considering small energy so this small amount of energy de gets stored in small time dt which is getting cancelled now total variation in current is from 0 to i total current kitna vary ho raha hai 0 to i so i can consider integrating this equation within the limits of 0 to i therefore e is equal to integration 0 to i de total variation in current is from 0 to capital i this we are assuming therefore e is equal to integration 0 to i l i d i now we are integrating with respect to i so l will come outside the integration therefore e is equal to l i hope everyone knows integration of i with respect to i it is i square by 2 i square by 2 limits 0 to i therefore e is equal to 1 by 2 li square this is what is energy stored in magnetic field and its unit is joule ye blue pen khatam ho gaya shayad its unit is joule okay so what we do what is energy stored in magnetic field again i am explaining the induced emf always opposes cause responsible for its production and for that source has source has to put in some additional energy how much additional energy it has to counterbalance the induced emf so v is equal to minus e so v is equal to l di by dt is the additional energy that is that the source is putting hmm? now using this equation in this equation energy is equal to vit substituting the equation of v i and t as it is for small energy small time i ga dt 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 will get cancelled the total energy e is equal to integration of 0 to i integration within limits of 0 to i of this equation you integrate will get this e is equal to 1 by 2 li square so this is energy stored in the magnetic field now let's write equation for energy stored per unit volume one more minute okay per unit volume hame e per unit volume nikalna hai what is volume volume is equal to area into length right meter cube so if i want to obtain volume what i'll do is i'll just rearrange this equation instead of l i am writing n phi by i instead of l l ka equation kya hai n phi by i so i i will get cancel so what i'll get e is equal to n phi i by 2 now what is phi okay instead of phi what i'll do is i'll consider we know this equation i hope you remember this equation h is equal to ni by l ye nahi chal raha blue pen is pen is not working h is equal to ni by l h is equal to ni by l that implies ni is equal to hl therefore e is equal to b ke jagah phi ke jagah pe main ba substitute kar raha hu flux is equal to flux density into area because b is equal to phi by a that means phi is equal to ba therefore i can write this as n फाइव के जगह पे बी ए लिखा मैंने और एन आई के जगह पे एन आई की जगह पे एच एल लिखा 
ई इज इक्वल टू बी ए एच एल डिवाइडेड बाई टू बी ए कहां से आया फाइव से आया एच एल कहां से आया एन आई से आया एन आई इज इक्वल टू एच एल बाई यूजिंग दिस इक्वेशन देर फोर दिस ए इन टू एल इज वॉट इट इज वॉल्यूम एरिया इन टू लेंथ इज वॉल्यूम सो दिस वॉल्यूम इन न्यूमरेटर आई एम टेकिंग इन टू डिनोमिनेटर ऑफ एल एच एस सो आई कैन राइट ई पर वॉल्यूम इज इक्वल टू हाफ बी एच दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इक्वेशन Energy stored per unit volume, that is joule per meter cube, is half B H. You can get two more equations of energy stored per unit volume by substituting B is equal to mu H. You'll get one equation, and by substituting H is equal to B by mu, you'll get another equation. So I hope you have understood energy stored per unit volume, its derivation, and also energy stored basic equation of energy stored. Thank you for watching this video completely. I love you all.